Good morning from the Denver Botanic Gardens Chatfield Farms Plant Select Demonstration Garden. Today I'm going to highlight some plants that are blooming profusely and that our native pollinators are really attracted to. Let's go take a look. First we have our Red Feathers Echium, Echium amelinum. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a favorite of bumblebees. Every time I come over to take a look at this plant, there are bumblebees frequenting it. So next we have Anchusa capensis. This is the Cape Forget-Me-Not. This plant is a beautiful blue color, but it's hard to find true blue plants. And so this is one. Um, one thing about this plant that you're gonna need to do, however, is to deadhead it readily. So um, this plant will reseed quite a bit. which is great, get some free plants out of it, but um, it is gonna reseed throughout your garden if you're not careful with it. And here's another rock star plant that is shining brightly right now. Looks really nice paired with that red feathers echium back there. But this is Stachys lavendifolia, the pink cotton lamb's ear. You can see where it gets its name. It's got these really soft, beautiful flowers. I've definitely been seeing the pollinators visiting this one as well. There was a bee on it just a second ago, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Low growing, it's about as tall as it gets, completely covered with blooms. This really beautiful, unique moth. That long proboscis going down into the Dracocephalum to get some, get some nectar. This guy has been hovering around all morning with this Dracocephalum, so this is definitely a favorite for Sphinx moth. Next we have Ariogonum umbilatum variety arium, the Canna Creek buckwheat. This is an absolutely gorgeous plant. It is glowing right now with that nice high vis yellow. Um, this is another one the pollinators are absolutely obsessed with. Um, really drought tolerant plant, has multi-season interest. As soon as those yellow flowers are finished, they're gonna have really ornamental seed heads that can even turn kind of an orange color in the fall if we have a nice fall. Really beautiful, really tough plant usually totally covered in pollinators by the afternoons. This is our beautiful weeping Budleia. This beautiful butterfly bush. Looks stunning right now definitely glowing. This is one that the pollinators, especially our butterflies, really, really love. Fragrant, delicate flowers with that pale silver foliage. It's just gorgeous. I'm glad that I could show you not only the beauty of the plant select garden, but also the benefit of these plants for pollinators. All sorts of pollinators frequent this garden. There are hummingbirds here, butterflies, sphinx moths, all sorts of bees, native bees and honeybees alike. All of these creatures need resources and their natural habitats are being encroached upon by humans. So as gardeners, I believe it is one of our duties to give back and provide them some of these resources. And Plant Select has an amazing selection of plants that 
will benefit pollinators. The ones I showed today are just a handful. And so I hope that this inspires you to maybe go out and build a pollinator garden or just include some more plants in your garden that are going to support these creatures. Come on down to Chatfield Farms and check out the plant select demonstration garden. Check out the rest of our gardens. See some of these beautiful pollinators in person. And thank you again for watching.